something that the Honda Ridgeline has that other pickup trucks don't have is that this rear tailgate also swings out. So let's give it a try. And for some reason, this tester model, this isn't working. It says release right here. There's nothing under here other than that. I'm not really hearing anything. I went online to check to see. They say it's not uncommon that this stops operating because some of the, the um, rods in there are not connecting correctly. So we're gonna have to work on that and find out a little bit more about it. Hey, I'm William West Hopper, and we have this Honda Ridgeline, this 2021 Honda Ridgeline, and one of the aspects of the Ridgeline is that it has a two-way tailgate. It drops down and it also opens up like a car door. Well, I went to use that car door aspect of it. It didn't work. It just kept cl uh, clicking and clicking. I called the fleet company and the fleet company just kept looking at uh, videos and saying, here, you need to do that. Then I looked uh, online and I saw with a lot of the forms that the connectors inside were probably disconnected. And indeed, that's what it was. So this little connector right here, as you can see, I have sort of rigged it up uh, without any parts and pieces to it, but that is what was missing. It should have one of these little plastic connectors on it, um, and it did not have that. So what I had to do was figure out how to take the, the, um, the interior panels off. It meant taking out a bunch of screws. It meant taking, uh, popping it off some plastic connectors, which we wanted to be careful of that we didn't break because these little pieces break on it. So we wanted to be careful with that. So that's what we did. We took it all apart and we fixed it. And now when you push the button here, it does what it's supposed to do. So that's what we wanted to do. It's supposed to, that's what it's supposed to do when you hit the button. And now it's going to do it. Now these are uh, Torx nuts or hex nuts. I think they're there. You're finding more and more of these Torx screws out there. I think it's because that uh, that most people just have Phillips screwdrivers or flathead screwdrivers, so they think this will pre uh, prevent uh, home do-it-yourselfers from getting in there. Now, I noticed on my 1970s uh, Scandinavian bed, it had Torx screws, so they've had screw Torx screws around since sometime in the mid-70s for sure. So these are go all around the vehicle here. So let's see if it actually works. All right, the test, and it works. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That's what it's supposed to do. All right, pop more of these off. And I find if you turn, these are square holes here, and if you turn them at an angle, you can see that they'll they come out a little bit easier. So we want to be careful that we don't break them. So I'm just going to take them all out right now. And then we'll reinsert them on the pieces of plastic that need to. And they were a bit of a hassle to get out for sure. So if you're doing it yourself, you may want to go ahead and pick up some of these to have as an extra. I'm sure you can pick them up off Amazon. Because you will break them. And this one I have a feeling is going to get broken because it does not want to come out. Now there it is. All right. So we've got a couple of different pieces that go back on here. We've got this trim piece that goes on first, and then we have a uh, then we have a top trim piece. So let's go ahead and put these on here. So
these just snap in. Putting it back together is always a lot easier than putting it, uh, putting it, in, taking it apart. You can hear them snap on when they pop in here. I can't believe it. We have just the right amount of little plastic clips. Miracle! A miracle! Oh, maybe there's one less thing. I think one may have broke, right? Yeah. Maybe on the floor, lower ground here. So let me look at it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll look around. It's, oh, there's one here. Found it! Found it! So I would have put it in and All right, now there's a bunch of these little guys. I'm not quite sure where they go, but I'm gonna, th I'm thinking that they came off of the back of that. So I'm gonna, well, maybe not. I don't know where they went. I don't know what they would have gone on to. All right, so we don't know what, where they go, they go. So we'll put those in a basket. All right, are we ready? And, uh, uh -huh. All right, so this is, it, this has to, Snap! There we go. So these little these little tabs here need to snap in behind the plastic liner on the on the base. So that's that. Put that in there. Here is the final top piece that goes on. Snapped in place as well. So it looks like it snaps in more like this. Yes, so it snaps in. So this was something that was a problem, that it was sticking out, so you gotta put it on, on with this back in first and then fold it into it, fold it down and then snap it. So it catches, so it catches those little, there we go. And we've got little screws here. Get out our Phillips screwdriver.
All right, so there it is. The last of the screws are going in and there's only one thing left to do and that is put this piece in the base of the tailgate. Get All right, so, so no good do-it-yourself project is ever done unless you have pieces and parts left over. And these are the only pieces and parts I have left over because I just don't know, couldn't figure out where they went. They, they, when they fell out, they just fell out. So let's see what we can do about this guy. It sort of fits in down there. As you can see, it goes in there. What I'm gonna do is put it up in here. See if we can figure out how it, how it slides how it slides back in. All right, I don't know how it slides in. I'm gonna have to play with this. Does it, does it go in that? So now it goes in that way, right? Oh, I see. It's going to go in here. Here's what we're making out the keyhole. Well, I think you have to kind of have the key in, but here's what we're going to do to make it even more exciting. Are you ready for something really exciting? I'll take this over here. Lift that up. So this will give us space to work here. So if you notice, it sort of has a... I don't, I'm assuming that that sort of can, catches that way. Does that catch it? There is a flat side and rounded out note. What? You see that? It, one of the sides is different from the other three. This one, the corners. Yeah, well, the, well the, this goes down to the bottom. Yeah. But I'm, what I'm trying to figure out here is, you know, what's the, what's the deal on that? You know, how does that, does it connect that way? No, it doesn't connect that way. Now I've now I got to tie it in there. I don't know what this will do to it. I'm assuming that, that, that needs to connect. It needs to connect it that way. But you know what's it gonna do? I mean what is it you know what 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 does it activate is my question. How does it activate? I see. I, th I don't think it connects there at all. I think it's just it's just a lock. It's just a lock that that just that locks there. I see. I think I see. I think. Okay. All right. I think I, I think I figured it out. It doesn't connect to anything. It just it blocks. It looks like it block. It just blocks that from moving. Let's see if we got our thing of what we wanted to do. Uh-oh, it doesn't lock. Oh my God, the car is locked. Guess what we have to do? We have to go ahead, unlock the vehicle. Voila! Very nice. So one of the nice things about the Honda Ridgeline is this dual action tailgate. It acts like a car door when you want it, and that really helps you get to go into this bin here, which is deep and it's drainable, so you can put ice in here. There's also a place here to, to, uh, to move these things out. Let's take this out here. So, this, so we get to see that spare tire. Now they're, they're screwed down in here, so 
So there's those two little screws there, one there, one there. And this slides out. So you have all your tools here, um, your little filler for your thing. So everything's right there. And I'm sure you can probably just lift it all out, take the tire out, and the whole thing out. But they're pretty well, pretty kind of interestingly designed. And I was wondering what these little these little things here were for in there to catch the bottom of that. Catch the bottom of that. See, there's that little ridge there. It's like, well, what was that there for? Well, it's to catch that when you lift it out. That's done. Put the dividers in here, which is nice. Nice. There's a drain here. So you can drain out the water. If you put ice in here. All right. All right. We fixed the 2021 Honda Ridgelines tailgate. So what makes the Honda Ridgelines truck bed special? Well, it's pretty much like every pickup truck you go to do. It opens like that, which is actually pretty cool. You know, classic pickup truck. But what you don't see on many pickup trucks, especially mid-sized pickup trucks, is that you can open the door like this. And then you have an easier access to the bed.